Welcome back to Power BI Helpline YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to show you how to add previous year and forecast in the same column chart like this. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for all such interesting topics in Power BI. With that, let's check it out. This is a column chart in Power BI, and we have year month on X axis and then total amount on Y axis. The requirement is to show the total previous year value in the first column, and then month-wise current year cumulative values, and in last show me the forecast value, which is 30% more than the previous year total amount. With such requirements, which is very common in organizations, you may jump to the App Store for a custom visual, but this can be solved with the native Power BI visual itself. This is the date table, and we are first going to add a period column, based on the year, the logic is, if year is current year minus 1, then we will replace the number with a text which is previous year, else we will keep, year month column. One thing is to notice that, in our date table we have all the period for 2022, but in our sales transaction table, we have data only till May 2022. In our visual, we also need to keep entire 2022 months even with the no values. Since we don't have forecast in this column to show into our visual, we will now copy this newly created calculated column and jump into Power Query Editor to do the required workaround. Since ordering is important, and we need to show forecast in the last, so we will assign the highest number to forecast, and replace 0 with 14. Connecting period column from new table to period column of the existing date table. Let's use the period column from new table, which also has forecast. Now is the most important part of this entire setup to be functional, which is to create a measure, which will satisfy all these conditions. Let's do that. First we will write a measure which calculates the cumulative values, and then we will make it to calculate cumulative numbers, year-wise, by using values function.
Now, we will write the expression for forecast, which is 30% extra from the previous year total values. One last thing is to do, is to show only values till the actual order date, and keep remaining period as blank. And this is it, we have created the required visual here. With little bit of formatting now it's all done. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel, for many such interesting solutions on Power BI.